Welcome back, welcome back. We're on the theory part for activity five. So activity five is IT service management implications. So there is a template for this activity, please use it. You need to analyze the IT service management implications for Rogery's um, solution that you have designed. And implication, think about it like this. The word implication simply means what are the possible end results of you doing what you've done. So let's say I have a thousand pounds in my bank account. And I can either go buy a £1,000 mobile phone or a laptop with that £1,000 or I can save it. The implications of me doing that are the end results or what is the end result of me spending that money? What is the end result of me not spending that money? It could be good or bad, but you, um, in this instance, we're going to focus on the potential negatives that could happen. We have implementing your solution and delivering the organization's services and products managing and supporting employees so the people that work for the company and managing and supporting the organization's customers so the comp so the people who come to the restaurant and we also have managing the organization's it assets these are the things that we need to focus on so the things that we need to consider we have to look at the constraints so constraints are things that we have to work with example again i'm making a mobile phone let's say samsung comes to me and says i need you to make the samsung galaxy s30 right the constraints are going to be, I will only give you a million pounds to do this. You only have six months to do this. It must have this. It must have that. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. Constraints are limitations that you have to stick to or abide by. So um, the things that we have to consider are the constraints such as the legal requirements, security issues, and resource limitations. Changes in the organization's aims, products and services. These are still things that we have to consider. So changes in the organization's aims could mean that I they completely change the company from being a restaurant that does X thing to a restaurant that does Y things or does something else. They completely change the products and services that that company has to offer. So can we accommodate for all or I would say for most of this? So this is from the examiner directly. Learners are required to analyze the implications of managing IT service delivery for the requirements of the organization by considering how the implications will affect the restaurant. Evidence demonstrating the solution's capacity to respond to change was weak in the work of many learners. So you need to evidence demonstrating the solution's capacity to respond to change. Responding to change simply means that something else has happened or we need to update the system or we need to upgrade the system or we need to change what the company does slightly or do more with the company. In this instance, I do remember them saying something along the lines of the company, uh, sorry, the restaurant wants to start doing online as well. With everything that we've designed now, it will solve our problems now, but will it also accommodate the restaurant going online? And in my solution, I would say yes. In my estimation, I would say yes, because everything that we have, all the smart devices, the internet and everything connected together will actually help us moving online a lot better. So put simply, each of the things mentioned prior were headings for a report. We are looking for possible problems here as well things that will affect the business, employees, customers, or infrastructure. So implementing your solution and delivering the organization's uh, services and products, what will happen when you do this? So these are the questions I would ask myself, or these are the questions I would recommend or suggest you asking. This is not an exhaustive list. You can always ask more questions, but simply put, what will happen when you do this? So when I upgrade the entire company's thing and i i give them virgin fiber optic and i give them 5g what's going to happen what will happen when this happens obviously the um the owner is going to pay out more money when i update everyone from using a paper system for, of taking the menu or the order from people to a tablet or a phone system where they simply tap everything on screen i'm most likely going to have to maybe spend a day two three maybe even a whole week a whole five days a whole six seven days training people on how to use the system effectively and maybe slowly reintroduce customers so that we can test the system in operation. What could happen after you have done this? So after I've done everything, what could potentially happen? If the internet goes down, all the things I've implemented here, if the internet goes down, let's just say we only had the Virgin one and I did not say, okay, let's do 4G, 5G as well. Remember I said use 4G or 5G and maybe use EE's network. If I did not say that and I only said, let's use Virgin's internet, 
what could happen is when the internet goes down, we are stuck. We cannot make any orders. We can't take any card payments. We're absolutely stuck. So we need to look into stuff like that as well. What needs to be considered before, during, and after? That's the simplest way to put everything, but I've tried to break it down. We look for weaknesses to try and lessen the impact of issues. So, for example, there is no way to 100% prevent yourself from being attacked or hacked or someone trying to gain access to your network. There's no way to prevent someone else doing something. But what we can do is limit the impact. So we can have something that says, actually, I'm going to block this person. But you cannot stop the person from trying. Managing and supporting employees, what has been put in place to support staff is going to be training, e-learning teams. I think e-learning and teams for this company especially is going to be very, very handy. And we could even take it a step further because we have teams. I know for a fact that we have um, Office 365 because we're paying for the monthly subscription or the yearly subscription. So because of that, I know we have OneDrive, OD for OneDrive. I know we have SP, SharePoint as well. What I could do, I could screen record myself on a tablet or a mobile phone or a laptop doing the activity so let's say taking an order updating this ordering stuff online whatever the case is i could then upload that video to onedrive or sharepoint and share it with the relevant team so if i need the people who go and take orders to know how to take orders on the new mobile devices i could screen record myself do a voice over on a mobile device because android has that feature go through the entire step, take the order, uh, take the payment, send it to the kitchen, bring the food to the person. I could do that on a mobile phone, upload it to OneDrive and any new member of staff that comes along. Rather than me sitting that one person in a room for the entire two, three, four, five, six, seven days, I could simply say, everyone has to go away, watch these videos, confirm that you've watched the videos. And when you come in on an actual training day, you should be able to do one or two of these things as a basic example. Next, we have managing and supporting the organization's customers, managing and supporting the organization's customers, what has been done to help make customers' lives easier, what was done to ensure data is secure, so the customer's data, obviously, what legislations protect customers and their details, and the website, I'm going to put on the website the menu, the allergies, the opening and closing times, the offers that we have, everything that is going to help the customer make a decision, anything that's going to make the customer's life easier. There's no point in me Googling um, what time does this restaurant open? Google doesn't know. The restaurant has no information on, on there. The person drives all the way from, let's say, Birmingham to London. The restaurant's closed and they have to drive back home. Obviously, that's a very outlandish thing, but it's possible. So we have all the information on the website, all the information present at all times so that people can easily find the information that they want. Managing the organization's IT assets. Uh, is contracting good now? Will contracting be good after expansion? Does it make sense to hire someone full-time? If you hire full-time, what are the implications of that? More money, extra equipment for the full-time person, so on and so forth. So these are the questions we're going to be asking ourselves. When I get to the Word document, I'll try and detail as much as I possibly can, as I've done in previous uh, videos. The ability to respond to change in the aims of the organization and the products and services it provides. Can Rodri change how the company operates with, um, with what you have done, with what you have designed? So can he grow? In my estimation, for me, I'm going to say yes, because I ensure that I did things to try and incorporate what he wanted to do in the future. Must he redesign everything or simply some things? If he gets bigger, website or an app, can the current system tolerate more people working for him, more customers, more restaurants in other locations with the website? Again, I'm going to say yes because I designed in a way that we can easily expand. It's scalable. Because we're going to be using a website, I wouldn't even bother with the app for this one. Now, if you're a massive company like Nando's, maybe the app makes sense. But the website is just as good in my opinion. Because what the website does, it alleviates the need to make an app for Android and make an app for iOS and test those two apps. When you make a website, the website works on any smart device. Some smart watches now can go on the websites. Some smart TVs can go on websites. Consoles can go on websites. Phones, laptops, tablets. So any smart device that can use a web browser can you go on the website and get the information that they want. IT service management implications, that one there. When I open it, this is what the document looks like. So all the things I mentioned before, they each have a heading. And this is essentially an evaluation of you going through and saying, is this done? Was this done? What could be the outcome of this? The implications, the main thing is looking at the implications of doing what you've said you're going to do or what you've actually done. That's it.